second down now after the pass completion. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it'll be second and 10. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And it'll be third and ten now. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jarvis Landry, 38 yards. And the Dolphins are in for six. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot, know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. And this will wind up being a poor decision to bring it out as he's out of bounds shy of the 20. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. But sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Manning to throw on second down. A dump off to Anderson. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Fresh set of downs here. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Manning. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first. But instead, it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Throwing his Manning on third down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. A gain of 39 that time. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Back to the ground, Anderson. Down to the 25. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. 
Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Now Manning throwing on second down. Evans has it left side. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second down, here's Manning. That's caught, it's Thomas. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Anderson, and he's maybe gonna get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain, and it's second down. And quickly, they get to the line. Manning to throw on second down. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. Manning now on third and goal. And that is incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance that they have any decision to make on fourth down. But things happen so quickly in the end zone, in this compressed area of the field, that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. One receiver left, that's Allen. Breeze to throw on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Giovanni Bernard, the intended receiver out of the backfield. And that's going to bring up the third down. I remember growing up playing basketball. My coaches always talked about communicating on defense, making sure you talk on defense, know where your screens are, know where the cuts are coming from, who has who. Well, guess what? It's the same thing in football. Even though there's more noise out there, you can hear all the screams of screen, screen. This defense, the bench, everyone let them know what the play was, and that's why they were able to react and knock the ball away. fourth quarter and they're going for this thing on fourth down one receiver left two to the right breeze to throw forward on four and they hit him as 
he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three point the kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Manning the throw on second down. Rolling to his right. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there. And there we saw completion. Third down now, it's C.J. Anderson. And he'll at least get him inside the red. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go for it. It's Manning. And that is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that. But they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call. Giovanni Bernard, nothing but green grass. A big play there on the catch and run. 79 yards. So what's the old expression that quarterbacks like to use when they decide to throw the football? I'm looking for either a touchdown or a check down. And he took the check down on that play, and it worked almost to perfection. First and goal here from the two. Here's Stewart. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Jonathan Stewart punching it in from a yard away. And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. Now Hausch can attack on the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Hausch can now to send this one away following the score. That's fielded in the end zone. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Terrell Suggs in there to take him down and the clock will roll. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out. And you... and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposite. Position, no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. 